Welcome back to another episode of Molo GP Mac and today we're going to talk about the qualifying session that just happened in Australia. Now Jorge Martin is on pole position from Marc Marquez, Pekka Vanyaya, Alicia Spagaro, Quadraro, Zarco, Marini, Miller, Besecchi, Rins, Alex Marquez, Vinales, Bastanini, Paula Spagaro, Johan Mir, Brad Binder, Cal Crutchlow, Darren Binder, Remy Gardner, Gigi Antonio, Miguel Oliveira, Fernandez, Morbidelli, and Nakashima. Now, Jorge Martin's lap was absolutely stunning. Underneath Jorge Lorenzo's track record, which has stood for absolute years. It's the last, one of the last Bridgestone uh, lap records actually out there. Uh, he did a great job. Not quite sure on his pace for tomorrow's race, but again, he is there and he's in with a chance. Marc Marquez, um, <laughs> is he there on pace or raw speed? No, he's not. Um, the Marquez caravan, like it or don't like it, he openly admitted it in his interview after. Um, you know, he said that he had to get um, the slipstream off of Peko. And it's not just the slipstream on the straight, you could actually see on some of the long open corners, he was right up behind Peko. So he was not only using the slipstream in the straight, he was also using it in the corners. Alicia Spagro, again, he is in fourth place. You know, it looked like actually Vinales was giving him a toe in his fastest lap, um, maybe to Maverick's own detriment, because quite surprised that Maverick is down in 12th place in the circuit that he normally goes fairly well at. Uh, Quadraro, he has really good pace, actually. Just looking at, you know, the FP4, FP3, but even on the qualification laps, you know, he wasn't tucked up behind anyone. He was running free. Um, so it was quite interesting to see his pace. Zarco did really well, came through Q1 into Q2. Um, so not bad pace from Zarco there. Um, Marini was quite a, a surprise. Uh, now he was in obviously Q2 anyway, but um, again, head of Bisecki, who was actually close enough. I actually thought uh, Bisecki was actually going to put uh, Benaya off the front, but he seemed to lose an awful lot in the last sector. Really surprised about Jack Miller, you know, down in eighth place. Expected a small bit more from him, if I'm honest. Uh, Alex Rins in the top 10, really, really good. Came through Q1 as well. You know, um, he was actually behind Zarco in Q1. Um, so got a bit of a toe and got into Q2. Um, Vinales, as I mentioned, very surprising. Uh, Bastanini, he didn't do too bad, just got uh, caught. Same with uh, Polo Spagro, just got caught with Zarco and Rins. A uh, good day for Cal Crutchlow, um, well ahead of uh, Franco Morbidelli. Um, Q, or sorry, in FP3, he was seven tenths of a second ahead of Franco, and in FP4, Franco was just ahead of him. But it is kind of worrying, and I know I've always been saying this, that the test rider is as fast or not faster than <laughs> your race rider. Um, so yeah, so look, very disappointing for uh, Franco Morbidelli down in 23rd place. Miguel Oliveira, I think, is going to be in a little bit of trouble. Um, he may get a penalty. Um, just coming over the top of Luki Heights, Bastanini was on his hot lap. And Bastini had to go around him, so he was kind of dawdling on. He wasn't actually on the full racing line, but he was definitely in the way. So I think he would get a, a penalty there. Johan Mir as well did an absolute excellent uh, qualifying. If I, I take my hat off to him, he um, he was up there and was going to go through. Um, but again, with Zarco and Rins, it kind of pushed them all back. But was definitely um, a really good, interesting uh, quali uh, tomorrow's race. Um, it's going to be a battle of tires, in my opinion. Um, I think probably 
uh, the person that's brave at the start and maybe goes hard hard will be in for a chance of winning it uh, obviously it will take time for the harder tyres to heat up but I do think towards the last 10 laps of the race you know that's where uh, the hard tyres will, will actually play to you better if I'm going to pick a race winner for tomorrow who would I pick um, I know that's a very very difficult one I'm going to pick the one that has nothing to lose and in my view he probably doesn't have the pace but um, I'm going to go with Jorge Martin for the race win tomorrow but I'd definitely love to know your thoughts what did you think of qualifying and also who is going to be your race winner tomorrow definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be back again tomorrow after the race <laughs>